Welcome back, Foul Mouth Fishing, all you hookaholics. We got ourselves a very special gift here. Florida Tackle Club. Um, you know I do these unboxings all the time. Um, and this is uh, time to show love. Uh, this February, Valentine's Day month. Happens to also be my anniversary month. My wife's birthday month. So money's tight. Very tight, especially in February's. Um, with all that said, you know, I thought this would be the, the perfect month to show a little love uh, because this special box is actually showing a whole lot of hookaholic love to this ugly mug right here. So uh, although it's a Florida Tackle Club box, uh, what this actually is, is a very special and, and gratefully, from the bottom of my heart, a whole lot of honor and, and gratitude. Um, it's a special box of custom painted lures. So, uh, oh, <laughs> it's climatic. So really great YouTube friend, a fish, a hookaholic family member, a foul mouth fishing family member. Um, you've probably seen one of these baits in here, uh, hand painted on his channel. Bass boxing outdoors. Um, so bass boxing sent me this box of <laughs> a lot more than I thought. I thought I was getting like two, maybe three baits. He sent me a box with seven items in it. So. God bless you, brother. Um, thank you. So, right off the bat, meat and potatoes. All these items are baits that he hand-painted, um, tuned his own way, gave colorways his own style. He uh, So here's a 7-inch, 2.2-ounce sexy shad color uh, made on the 26th of November for me. This was actually, I think, featured on his channel. So... I'm going to take this out of here, and then I'm going to put it back when I'm done. Because that sucker's not going to get lost. That's for darn sure. So. BBO. Bass Boxing Outdoors. Right there. <laughs> awesome. Um, check that out. Really awesome scale pattern. Silver blue. One of my... Actual, my favorite uh, rattle trap color has always been the chrome, blueback chrome. Um, this has always been, to me, one of the, the tried and true color schemes uh, for, for painting a bait. And this, I got myself a 2.2 2 .2 ounce glide bait. Freaking awesome. Nice clack. That is sweet. Oh, shoot. Sticky, super, super sharp sticky hooks. Um, he actually mentioned in the email uh, when these went out. I love that that little hit of color. He, he, he hit the red on the chin, and he hit it with a, a, a beautiful tear, uh, a color of a, a bright, brilliant red for the gill accent there. Awesome. Awesome, man. Shoot. Really impressed. Um, <laughs> so, sorry, I'm fainting. Uh, so the the chrome blue back is, has always been one of my favorite uh, lipless crankbait colors. I don't really. I think this is the only gray blue chrome blue back swim bait I've ever. I think I've ever seen. Um, I've never paid much attention, but most swim baits are like perch tones, uh, greens, um, all bone colors or reds, of course. Uh, chartreuses so this is something that's absolutely epic in my opinion because it goes to a tried and true color that I have a lot of confidence in in a in a bait style that I think was desperately needing needing that that is awesome all right so that that's that's cool 
that's cool. I'm going to have fun. I'm definitely going to hook something in on that and share that with you, Bass Boxing. Uh, what do we got next? From Guggen Squad, we got a Guggen Squad, uh, Guggen Squad Scout that he's repainted. So this is a four to six foot diner, uh, diner, diver. <clears throat> I'm working on very little sleep. I work seven days a week this week. So pardon my, uh, my lacking attention. So, so you got, that's pretty cool too. So you got your shad spot he put in. Nice shad spot dot there. Again, he's got that really sweet pearly blue speckles down gives you that like blue fade to um, to green into that chartreuse yellow with an awesome awesome hit of orange on the bottom that is sick that is sick now he uh, he mentioned in the email whether or not I wanted hooks and stuff on it hardware and I told him I said you know you do whatever you feel like um, I was more than happy that you know if he left me the information on what kind of hardware would go best with each bait um, that I'd, I'd go out and I'd pick up, um, you know, the, the treble hooks or what have you. Uh, but he, he, he has his own uh, preferred tackle hardware, and he threw them on there. And so far, I've been stuck twice. So he got me twice. So these are really good hooks. Um, so that's awesome. I'm going to go to one of these smaller baits now. These are it's just sick. He got me a big swim bait. A sweet jerk bait, and this is definitely the time for jerk baits. So we had last month in January, this month in February. Now we got some crank baits we're kicking into. He, he covered everything. He gave me a crank bait. He gave me diving baits. He's given me a top water bait, a jerk bait. This is freaking awesome. Check this out. Now this is sick too. That is killer. Camera does not give this justice. So he's got this silver depth. So this silver, and then he's come over. I don't know if he's done the black first and the silver on top, or the silver first and the black on top, because it's got such like dimension to it. Um, awesome little blue eyes. That's pretty cool. Interesting. Square bill. Nice. Nice. This is cool. All right, let's see. Uh, I wonder how much this, or how deep this dives. I'll have to figure that out. That's that's awesome. He even hit the he hit the silver on the nose and under the chin here. That's cool. I like that a lot. I like that color too. How did this go here? here. So get that back. Let's check this one out. This one, I just like that one. The depth he's got with these colors, it's like the layers that he's got going on. And this one, he's even got some extra accents beyond that. So here's primarily a chrome silver color. Green eyes. It's like aqua green. Like a sea foam almost. And he's got these awesome stripes and pattern in here. Scales behind everything. But just the, he hit it with these white accents that gives it that three-dimensional look. That's pretty freaking cool, man. That's awesome. <laughs> Bass boxing out, out. That's three. <laughs> Bass boxing outdoors. So that's awesome, man. Really good. And, and his clear coat's really awesome, too. That's, that's adorable. I can feel, like, the, the sheen and the gloss to it. It's got a really durable covering over top, so I know that that paint's going to hold on for quite a long time. So, uh, bang it off of rocks here and there, which I intend to do. Uh, at least I'm, I'm not going to be fearful of uh, chipping it up too bad too fast. I wish I knew how this, how this go in here. Oh, like that. Sick. Sick. That one's got a rattle in it, too. Hear that rattle. Really loud crankbait, that one. Get that off to the spring. Oh, okay. So we got a light blue with, like, a, a pink rose chin underneath. There's a fat, fat boy. This also rattling, right? It's 
a more a more heavy thud. That's pretty cool. And it's it's almost well, it is. It's it's uh, semi see through. So that's pretty cool. You got this baby blue back, pink pink little chin, square bill. I like that. That's fat. That's fat. I'll be interested to see how this uh, action is. Really nice. I bet you that's got a really nice, like sw tight but like pronounced wobble. You know, I I love again. I've said I've, I love my balsa baits. Um, they just have that. That canes, they float, so the, the rise on them is awesome. And they have that waddle that's specific to balsa wood baits that you can't emulate with plastic ones. But uh, but that's a great profile. I like that body profile right there. That's pretty cool. <clears throat> Two more to go. Saving the best for last. Not because it's the best because it looks the best, but it's the best because it's something that we all, we all love. So next to last, this nice tiny little jerk bait here. That's pretty cool. That's a color I've never seen before. Like a, again, he's got that, that blue. It's really freaking awesome blue. And it's because this one also is a, is like a semi-transparent. Um, the color shining through it actually gives it two tones of blue. When it when you don't have light behind it, it's darker and richer. And then when you have a light shining behind it, it looks uh, a fair bit brighter and lighter. And it's got a purple back. So that's cool. That's cool. And finally, he sent me a top water. And we all love top water. So when we're out there looking to uh, to get the big blow ups, personally, my favorite go to top water bait, this guy's right here, is your standard walking spook. Your walking bait, more so than frogs, more so than buzz baits, more so than the whopper plopper. A walking bait like this guy has always been my go-to. Just walk the dog cadence. You can throw it. You can leave it in the strike zone for an extended period of time, even longer than, than frogs for the most part. Um, that is awesome. And he's got this frog slight pattern, black and green. Awesome. Look at that. Brought the green down the middle. That is just, again, the, you know, the camera's not really picking it up. But the, the definition between the colors is just epic. So, man, I definitely owe you one. I definitely have to pay this forward. Um, you know, I, I'm very grateful. I wasn't expecting this. I was expecting maybe one. I, I, knew, I knew the one bait that you had done on your channel. And, I, you know, I was amazed with that, watching the process and everything. But I didn't expect this. I expected maybe one or two baits. So, you know, I am very, very grateful. Um, so thank you very much, Bass Boxing. Um, I got to think of something to do for you. <laughs> it's going to happen. But uh, but I appreciate it. He, he gets joy out of this, I hope. I know he said, you know, he, he enjoys doing this as a pastime. He, he, it's like me. I, I have my pastimes that I enjoy doing aside. It takes your mind off of things at work and stress and what have you. But... Uh, I really, I really appreciate this because most of my pastimes are things like gaming that don't really have anything constructive at the end. This actually gives you a tangible, something that not only takes your mind off it now, but it's something that people can look back at in the future and, and appreciate. So for that, that's pretty freaking awesome. Epic, epic. I, I hope this was fun. I know this was a short video. But uh, thank you again, Bass Boxing. Um, I can't explain how much I appreciate it. Uh, this, is, this is cool, man. Go check out Bass Boxing Outdoors channel. I will link in the description below uh, his, his information for his YouTube channel. And uh, probably clue in one of the, the videos. Maybe the video that showed him painting this very bait up. And uh, check him out. Watch his videos. He does unboxings like I do. Uh, he does these painting videos. He does some other stuff. He also has a John boat, and we're both going to be getting out there this season on the water for some more on the water content. Um, I'm certainly going to show some more bank angling videos rather than just the unboxings. So from me to all of you, thank you all for paying a little bit of attention, spending some time with me. Thank you again, Dwayne Fast Boxing Outdoors. And uh, as always, peace, and I'll catch you on the next cast. Take care, Hocalics.